हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस टेक अ प्रॉब्लम ऑन फ्लैश बीम हियर वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन आई एम मार्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन लेट अस रीड फर्स्ट व्हाट इज गिवन हियर ए टिंबर बीम 100 एमएम वाइड बाय 150 एमएम डीप इज टू बी स्ट्रेंथेंड बाय टू प्लेट्स 100 एमएम इनटू 12 एमएम एंड 100 एमएम इनटू 6 एमएम फुल स्टॉप द थिकर प्लेट इज secured to the top surface and thinner plate to the lower surface as shown in figure here they have provided us with a diagram in which they are showing that the overall width of this flitch beam is 100 mm the overall depth is given for wooden section it is 150 mm and they are telling us that we have two steel plates one is thick other is thin thicker steel plate is at the top thinner steel plate is at the bottom next the maximum permissible stress in steel is 120 megapascal and the value of modular ratio is 20 full stop calculate moment of resistance of strengthened section also calculate maximum stress in timber now this is the problem of flitch beam which we have in front of us For solving this problem, we need to write the data first. So let us start with writing the data for this problem. First of all, whatever diagram they have given, that diagram we have to draw it again in the data. So I am drawing the diagram of a flitch beam. This is the flitch beam which is given in the question. where the middle section is made up of wood and at top and bottom we have two steel plates now i would be writing the dimensions what is given here this flitch beam is 100 mm wide the wooden part of the flitch beam made up of you can say wood that is 150 mm deep then at top and bottom we have two steel plates the top steel plate is having where its height as 12 mm bottom steel plate has 6 mm now this is the flitch beam which we have apart from this we would write the next part in the data that the maximum permissible stress in steel is 120 megapascal so it is the maximum stress in steel i will write it as sigma s since it is maximum so sigma s max it means maximum stress in steel that is 120 megapascal and value of modular ratio is 20 so small m is equal to 20 calculate moment of resistance of strengthened section that is the first part we have to find out what is the value of m of x r moment of resistance and the second question is also calculate maximum stress in timber that is i have to find out how much is the maximum stress in timber so here we have these questions and now we would be starting to solve this problem now whenever they give you the problem of flitch beam first of all try to get the location of neutral axis neutral axis is that axis over which the bending stress would be zero so now here i have a diagram which is given to me what i would be doing is that replacing this wood section by steel section so that i have throughout steel you can even solve this problem by converting the steel section into wooden section both the ways it is possible to get the solution so what i would be doing here is that converting the wooden section into the steel section so in my solution part first of all i would be saying that since modular ratio small m is equal to it is given as 20 and that modular ratio can also be written as width of wood upon width of steel 
so therefore if i want to calculate how much should be the width of steel to replace this wooden section that would be b suffix s is equal to the width of wood divided by 20 here we have width of wood as 100 mm divided by 20 so therefore the width of steel section which would be replacing the wooden section that is 5 mm so in the problem the first step was to convert the given section into steel throughout like i have converted wood into steel you can even solve this problem by converting steel into wood in that case you have to find out how much should be the width of steel or you can say the steel which is replaced with the wood that width you should know next so this diagram would be converted now i have converted this wooden section into a steel section so throughout i have only steel here i would be marking the dimensions here 100 mm is the width at bottom similarly 100 mm is the width at top level next the thickness of the top layer is 12 which we already have and the thickness of the bottom layer is 6 the width of this section which i have converted from wood to steel is 5 mm and its height is 150 mm so this is the diagram which i have in front of me i would be solving whatever is asked based on this diagram because i have converted wood into steel and this is the equivalent diagram which we have so i can write here that this is the equivalent diagram in steel next here i can see that it is an i section so i need to get the location of neutral axis here neutral axis as we know it is that axis at which the bending stress is zero so i need to know where this axis is there in the section so for that purpose what i would be doing i would be dividing this entire figure this i section into three different sections that would give me this would be i will be calling it as my first section and here i have my second section and at the top i had my third section now based on these three sections i would be calculating the value of y bar because the distance y would give me the location of horizontal axis after this i will be saying that since location of neutral axis is given by y bar is equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 upon area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3 therefore y bar is equal to area 1 is this bottom rectangle having width 100 and depth 6 so it is 100 into 6 multiplied by y1 y1 will be the location of x axis for first rectangle so it would be at half of 6 that is 6 by 2 plus area 2 will be given by this middle portion or you can say web having width 5 mm and depth 150 so it is 5 into 150 area multiplied by the location of x axis for the second rectangle is 
second rectangle as we see it is starting after 6 mm so it is 6 plus 150 by 2 plus area 3 that is having value 100 into 12 multiplied by y3 this third rectangle is starting after 6 plus 50 156 mm so it is 156 plus x axis for the third rectangle would be at half of 12 so 6 by 2 so 156 plus 6 by 2 divided by area 1 which is 100 into 6 plus area 2 which is 5 into 150 plus area 3 which is 100 into 12 from this I would be getting the value of y bar which I have already calculated and that answer comes out to be 100.76 mm now this location of y bar is from bottom therefore y bar will be equal to from the total depth if I see the total depth it is 6 plus 150 156 plus 12 that gives me 168 so 168 minus 100 point 76 that comes out to be 67.24 mm from top so now I have the location of neutral axis which I can show it on the diagram 100.76 mm from bottom this is my neutral axis the distance is 100.76 mm from bottom from the top it is 67.24 mm so I have the location of neutral axis from bottom and top now after this I would be see the first question as we see here we have moment of resistance so I would be writing how to get moment of resistance after getting y bar we can write moment of resistance from using the flexural formula I can say that since by the flexural formula from this formula we have m upon i is equal to sigma b upon y since I want to calculate moment of resistance so for m I have to ha add suffix r therefore m suffix r will be equal to I would be shifted onto the other side i divided by y into sigma b I will keep this moment of resistance as my first equation if I get the value of i if I know the value of y and sigma b my problem gets solved so here I would be going first for the calculation of i which is the moment of inertia of the section so let us start calculating it now since moment of inertia of the section is given by I will write down I is equal to since here I have three different sections that is rectangle 1 2 and 3 I want to calculate moment of inertia for first second and third rectangle about the horizontal axis which is parallel to neutral axis so here this would be I x x 1 plus ix2 
प्लस आई एक्स एक्स थ्री कीपिंग दिस एज माई सेकेंड इक्वेशन नाउ इंडिविजुअली आई वुड बी कैलकुलेटिंग आई एक्स एक्स वन आई एक्स एक्स टू आई एक्स एक्स थ्री पुटिंग द वैल्यू इन इक्वेशन नंबर टू टू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई सो फर्स्ट स्टार्टिंग विथ आई एक्स एक्स वन नाउ आई एक्स एक्स वन विल बी इक्वल टू आई वन प्लस एरिया वन इन टू एच वन स्क्वेर दैट इज बाई यूजिंग पैरल एक्सिस थियरम देर फोर आई एक्स एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू आई वन इज द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया फॉर रेक्टेंगल नंबर वन अबाउट इट्स ओन हॉरिजोंटल एक्सेस सो अबाउट दिस हॉरिजोंटल एक्सेस द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया इज रेक्टेंगल वन इज हैविंग विथ बी एंड डेप्थ इट सिक्स ओके सो वेट इज हंड्रेड डेप्थ इज सिक्स सो इट इज बी डी क्यूब बाई ट्वेल्व दैट इज हंड्रेड इंटू सिक्स क्यूब डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व प्लस एरिया वन इज हंड्रेड इंटू सिक्स एच वन इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द न्यूट्रल एक्सेस एंड द हॉरिजोंटल एक्सेस ऑफ रेक्टेंगल वन सो द डिस्टेंस वुड बी हंड्रेड पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स माइनस थ्री एम एम वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट दिस डिस्टेंस दिस इज एच वन फॉर अस ओके सो एच वन इज माइनस थ्री एम एम सो हंड्रेड पॉइंट सेवन सिक्स माइनस थ्री होल स्क्वायर सो फ्रॉम दिस इफ आई कैलकुलेट आई वुड बी गेटिंग आई एक्स एक्स वन वैल्यू एज फाइव पॉइंट सेवन एट इंटू टेन रेस टू सिक्स एम एम रेस टू फोर Similarly, I would be calculating i x six two and i x six three. So i x six two will be equal to i two plus area two into h two square. This is again by parallel axis theorem. So therefore. i x six two will be equal to i two that is for the second rectangle. Second rectangle is having width five mm. Its height is one fifty. So b d cube by twelve that is five into one fifty cube divided by twelve plus area two is five into one fifty. H two. that is the distance between the neutral axis and the horizontal axis of rectangle 2 horizontal axis of rectangle 2 would be passing through half of 150 that is 75 mm from bottom it would be from here it is 75 mm i want to calculate the distance between neutral axis and the horizontal axis of rectangle 2 So that would be hundred point seven six minus seventy five plus six. I hope you all are getting this. That is hundred point seven six minus eighty one. That will give me the answer of h two distance between neutral axis and the axis of second rectangle. So it is hundred point seven six minus eighty one whole square. Therefore. If I calculate all the values here, I would be getting my answer of i x x two as one point seven zero into ten raised to six mm raised to four. Similarly, at last we would be calculating i x x three. So i x x three would again be i three plus area three into h three whole square. and this is again by parallel axis theorem therefore i x x 3 will be equal to i 3 for the third rectangle width is 
and depth is 12 mm so bd cube by 12 means 100 into 12 cube by 12 plus 100 into 12 h3 is the distance between the horizontal line or you can say horizontal x-axis of third rectangle and the neutral axis now this distance is my h3 in other words h3 is 67.24 minus half of 12 that is 6 so 67.24 minus 6 whole square from this i would be getting ix63 is equal to 4.51 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 so here i have all three values ix61 ix62 ix63 i will be saying that put ix61 ix62 and ix63 in equation number 2 so therefore if i look into equation number 2 here i have capital i is equal to ix61 whose value is 5.78 10 raised to 6 plus ix62 value is 1.70 10 raised to 6 plus ix63 the value is 4.51 10 raised to 6 if i add up all these values my answer of i will be 11.95 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 so now i have the value of moment of inertia next thing is that in equation number one because we need to calculate moment of resistance i value we have calculated we need to know what is y now this y would be the maximum value of y because at y is equal to maximum value bending stress is also maximum and moment of resistance is also maximum so whenever we are calculating moment of resistance we need to calculate the maximum moment of resistance so we would be going on to this y if i show you the diagram out of the two values that is 100.76 and 67.24 we have to select the maximum value of y so my maximum value of y is 100.76 mm i will say that therefore y is equal to y max and that y max is 100.76 mm and in the problem they have given us the maximum stress in steel so the maximum stress in steel would be at a distance of 100.76 mm from the bottom so at this layer we are having maximum stress and that was given in the problem as sigma s max maximum stress in steel 120 megapascal now i can easily put all values in equation number one to get my answer of moment of resistance i'll say that put all values in equation number one therefore my moment of resistance will be equal to if we look into equation one here i was having i upon y into sigma b i value is 11.95 10 raised to 6 divided by y is y max 100.76 multiplied by sigma b that is 120 mega pascal for steel 120 therefore my moment of resistance answer will be 
इंटू टेन रेस टू सिक्स न्यूटन मिलीमीटर विच आई कैन इवन कन्वर्ट इन टू फोर्टीन पॉइंट टू थ्री किलो न्यूटन मीटर दिस इज माई फर्स्ट आंसर द सेकेंड पार्ट इज मोमेंट ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस वी हैव ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड द सेकेंड पार्ट इन दिस क्वेश्चन इज मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस इन टिम्बर दैट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट सो फॉर दैट वॉट आई वुड बी डूइंग आई वुड बी ड्रॉइंग अ स्ट्रेस डायग्राम टू एक्सप्लेन इट टू यूल हाउ टू गेट मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस इन टिम्बर This is the stress diagram which we have, in which the maximum stress in steel at the bottom layer that we have calculated sigma s. This is one twenty newton per mm square. Now they are telling us to calculate the maximum stress in timber. Maximum stress in timber will be at the location. where timber meets steel at the bottom why we are not calculating at top because we can understand from the values of y that maximum stress would be there in the bottom section because it is far away from the neutral axis so now i need to calculate the stress in steel first i will i have the value of stress in steel at the extreme most layer which is 100.76 mm distance now i will i would be calculating the stress in steel at the location where it is meeting timber and that i will call it as sigma s dash this sigma s dash value will be less than 120 because it is closer to neutral axis so the more the value is away from neutral axis that layer would be having maximum stress so i need to calculate sigma s dash the distance of sigma s dash would be from the neutral axis i i want to know this distance and that distance is 94.76 mm why it is 94.76 mm is that from the bottom up to neutral axis it is 100.76 i need to calculate from neutral axis to the intersection of wood and steel so that is 100.76 minus 6 so it comes out to be 94.76 so i would first be calculating the value of steel max you can say stress in steel at this intersection of timber and steel and then i would be using modular ratio formula to get the answer of maximum stress in timber so after this i will say that from similarity of triangle from the similarity of triangles here we can see sigma s that is for outer triangle sigma s is at distance of 100.76 so i would be writing this as sigma s upon its distance sigma s that is maximum upon its distance which is 100.76 is equal to for this smaller triangle i have sigma s dash sigma s dash located at a distance of 94.76 mm sigma s dash is at 94.76 mm so from this i can say that therefore sigma s dash is equal to sigma s max which is 120 upon 100.76 i will send 94.76 onto the other side so therefore i have sigma s dash value that comes out to be 112.85 newton per mm square now once i know the value at the intersection or you can say at the junction where wood and steel are meeting now i can easily calculate the maximum stress in timber after this i'll say that since modular ratio m will be equal to the stress in steel at the junction of timber upon at that junction only we would be getting the maximum stress in timber so therefore maximum stress in timber will be equal to sigma s dash 112.85 divided by modular ratio which was given in the problem as 
so from this i am getting sigma t max that is the maximum stress in timber it comes out to be 5.64 newton per mm square and that's my second answer so if i look into this question they were telling us to calculate two things first was moment of resistance we had calculated moment of resistance value was 14.23 kilo newton meter the second part was maximum stress in timber that we have calculated the answer is 5.64 newton per mm square with this we complete the question